Hey everybody, welcome back to another diecast review. As you can see, we've got a wonderful blank table in front of us, along with a wonderful backdrop of metal chassis diecast, all available at ariusdiecast.com. Shameless plug, but today we are going to be taking a look at the newest arrival for my childhood hero, or favorite driver, whatever you want to say. My first favorite driver, let's go with that. My first favorite driver, driver of the number nine. Casey Kane Racing, Caravan Trailers, Sprint Car. Well, Casey Kane, you know, because, yeah. So anyway, guys, we are taking a look at the 118th version. They are finally in. Uh, I can't wait to get this open. It's unfortunately the McFadden came in first, which is going to look pretty much the same. But that being said, I'm still excited. I still have them both, and this is going right up next to all the rest of my Casey Kane sprint cars. I literally have them out on the shelf, one of the few that I don't have boxed up, and I don't even care. So we're going to start here. It is the uh, Acme boxes here. So let me see. Am I got, do I got some tape going on here? Why can't I, like, why can't I get this to move? It's like it's stuck somewhere. Hmm. Oh, there we go. It looks like I actually have to peel the paper off. Well, I tried. Anyway, guys, I peeled the paper off. So there you see it. We can see the number nine over there on the left. There's the sprint car over here. We got Casey Kane, number nine there. Kind of a really cool artwork. It's like a blue and red and orange. Just a really interesting group of colors uh over here you see we got casey kane and then caravan uh we got the number nine over here on this side and then we go back over here same thing over here uh 2021 118 scale die cast and then we go underneath this is how we get it popped open so how we get it open is we take this tab here we pop that open and then we pop the the side open like like so and then we go ahead and slide out the foam insert all right, so there we go. So the box is now empty. This is literally all of it coming out at once. We are doing a full-blown unboxing, by the way. This is not just a die-cast review. I am unboxing it because this is my favorite driver, and you guys just have to deal with it. It's my video. I can do what I want. It's my video. I do what I want. You know. If you know, you know. Uh, all right, so we're going to peel the tape off here quick. Okay, I lied. We're going to peel half the tape off here quick. Don't ask me how I managed to do that and literally split it on the line. I'm literally not even sure. I, I, I literally can't answer that question. All right, so I got some more tape here. Come on, you. Gotcha. Practically on the line again. I don't know. All right, that's good enough, though. So I got that done. Now I can lift this off. But before I do that, I actually need to get over here, get to this piece of tape so that I can get to the engine cover and the front wing. Come on out, don't be shy. Well, that'll come out easily. Yep, the plastic got stuck. Sorry guys, plastic got stuck here. There we go. And then, can I get the plastic off of there? Okay. There we go. All right, goodbye tape. Now, we finally got this part done. Ah, there we go. All right, so first thing I actually have to do, I probably shouldn't have pulled that off. I can pull this right out. That's the front or the top wing. But this is actually screwed down. So what I need to do is get my screwdriver out, my handy dandy little screwdriver, and stick it in the bottom here and just pull the, get the screws loosened up. The good news is I do have the correct screwdriver on hand. I always keep kind of a different set of screwdrivers on my desk here. Unscrew whatever die cast I may be taking a look at for that day. So I'm always prepared for my videos. Almost. I have a nice firm grasp on the die cast so I don't drop it. Firmly grasp it. Ah, oh, she's out, ladies and gentlemen. She's free. Free to roam. Not quite. But I did actually get it out, so I can at least say that. All right, so now my phone block is no longer in need. All right, let's get this down a little lower so you guys can see it as I assemble it. Actually, first we'll start with the details. So, uh, do I go lower? Nah, let's just go to a two time zoom. There we go. All right, there we go. So, uh, before I go too far, I'll back that up a little more. 
So here's our caravan trailers sprint car without anything on it. You can see right off the bat, there's our engine detail, the black valve covers on the silver engine block. Radiator looks good. Sometimes this has been broken on sprint cars that have come in. I've only had it once. I've seen a few others with that issue. I was able to repair mine. Um, so if you guys are having issues with any broken sprint cars, let me know. I will make a video on how I fix whatever issue that you may come across. So that way you guys can fix them yourself. Um, I know I've had, I've seen this, this piece right here is called the halo. I've seen this part break off as well. So again, let me know if you're having any issues with any parts of these sprint cars and I will try to get a video made for you guys on how to fix it. Uh, but right off the bat, yeah, we do have our, uh, our piece of just basic body work, I guess it's not, I wouldn't call it a front wing. It's just a piece of body work. But then, yeah, we have our engine detail in here. You can see the air filter up top. You can see all the different lines running through the exhaust pipe. Um, yeah, the other side doesn't really offer anything too different. You can see it does offer that right over there. We do have the body work over here, the exhaust pipes there. Caravan, or what starts this caravan, and we got our number nine here on the tail tank. Um, black rim up there. So yeah, um, pretty, pretty tough to tell. The coolest thing about it to me, the seat detail is fantastic. The Simpson belts, the full carbon fiber seat, um, the full, you know, the full containment seat is also a neat, neat thing. Got the steering wheel in there with the three bolts that hold that in. Uh, so I do think that's pretty cool. Uh, what do we got here? Oh yeah, 342 is the serial number uh, on that, and it looks like the rear suspension. There you can see the brakes. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool. Um, I don't know why. Why is it like this? It's like, it needs to be angled. It's like everything's getting. The tripod literally just broke. It literally just like it's a clip, and it just sent the car all the way off the tripod and down on. Yeah, luckily I caught it. But that was kind of annoying. Uh, anyway, so uh, it is an unboxing video, so it is, it is all live. What can I say? Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at our top wing here quick. Um, you can see right off the bat, number nine caravan trailers. We've got caravan up there on the top along with cane on the front of the wing there. NOS Energy Drink Monster monster ugh, nos energy drink sprint car series uh over here you also have caravan trailers and the number nine uh i'll put that wing on last because it's probably the hardest or the easiest to put on probably gonna do the front wing first uh on the front wing we do have curb records uh there we go curb records team ase or ase over there um we got kkr dirt on the front and curb records again factorycane.com up there on the side there uh now to put these in you put them in there are two holes uh on each side so four total and i usually tend to line up one side and then snap the other side in um i just find that that is the more um i don't know simple way to get it done there we go and then i just slide it around looks like all four are latched in so yeah it's worked again like a charm but it is a little weird it does kind of feel weird to be pulling on it like that but i get two two lined up on that side and then i just pull it around and snap it in place and once it's snapped in place solid as a rock now that doesn't mean you want to be knocking on it and grabbing it and twisting it and pulling it but i'm just showing you solid as a rock like that thing is not it shouldn't wiggle you shouldn't put this wing on and, and feel it wiggling back and forth no you should be able to feel it solid you know it's there and it's not trying to go anywhere uh, now, engine cover. How do you properly install the engine cover? You need to remember when you're installing the engine cover to um, drop it in. That's literally it. Uh, no, not really. It's pretty close to that, though. You literally just um, set it on there, um, and then sometimes you have to push it down a little bit depending on kind of how, how tight of an air filter you have up here. You can see mine rocks a little, but I push it down a little lines up perfectly uh it doesn't quite line up perfect on the front but it's fine it's close enough you can see it's it's like a tiny bit and i'm not going to worry about it because uh, you can see the caravan lines up almost perfect uh and you go to this side also still lines up perfect so uh, i'm definitely not going to worry about it there and then when you're putting on the top wing you just put there's a slot here let me see if i can show you there you can see the gap the little slot in there uh there's also a knob or a notch right up here on the top of the halo if you can see that knob there so that's what that's where that goes you put that in there just like that get that pulled around to the back you can see i got it right there oh doesn't quite move so i just kind of there we go roll my finger back and it is there and there we go. That is the Casey Kane 2021 Caravan Trailers Sprint Car. This is going to, it literally looks just like the James McFadden one. It's, it's actually like spitting image. It looks so similar, but I don't care. It looks awesome. It's going to go great uh, with his 2022 Sprint Car as soon as those come out. Those are for pre-order on rsdiecast.com. Also, I do have some of these in stock. If you're looking for the Casey Kane 118 Sprint Cars, they are in. So um, check those out. They'll be uh, in the link. 
uh, in the description below. So you can check them out over there at rasdiecast.com. Uh, also, be sure to, if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun jazz. Uh, but other than that, that'll pretty much wrap up this video. Let me know your thoughts, all that fun jazz in the comments. This has been Race Graze, and we'll see you in the next Diecast Review.